So Jess, you just want to introduce you. Um, take it away. Introduce yourself. Dude, absolutely, absolutely. Well, hey, I like people, man. Like, people's what fires me up. People what gets me up out of the bed in the morning, doing the right thing, taking care of people. So can, can you guys, could you do me a favor? Could you come off and let me see you on the camera? I want to interact with you guys. I want to see your face. I want to see you engaging. Peter, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. I love that. So, guys, can you just come off, come off the camera? There we go. Matt's coming in. There we go. Joseph, that's what I'm talking about. He's sipping his Red Bull, getting all jacked up, crazy. That's what I'm talking about. Carlos, Jacqueline, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Kelvin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. This is what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, number one, I appreciate that so much. That There's nothing more that I love on this earth than people. You know, I'm a firm believer that God has placed me here. Um, to help serve others and, and teach them the things that I've learned along the way. So listen, I'm nobody. I'm just a resource. That's all I am. I'm no better than you. You're no better than me. So my whole objective, my whole objective here on this call today is to give you some value this morning. I know the world right now is asleep and most people are going to have the same life this year as they had last year. Well, you know what? We don't want to be most people. You know, I've connected with Michael. You know, I've, I've tested and, and, and asked Michael some uh, some certain questions, and I can tell his heart's in the right place. So do all you guys on this call, do all you guys work with Michael or for him? Yes. Okay, sweet, dude. I love that. I love that. I almost like it more than Daniel's beard there, son. Son, one day I'm going to have one like yours, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's a beast. I love it, man. Well, my name's Jesse Cloud. I work for a cat named Andy Elliott. Does anybody here, does anybody know who Andy Elliott is? Yes. Okay, so most people on the call. Okay, beautiful. I love that. Well, listen, while we're together, I want you to understand, I'm not going to tell you guys anything but the truth. So I want you guys to understand that I'm not here to beat you, cheat you, steal from your lie to you. I just want to help you deliver some knowledge and, and help you guys win even more, you know? You guys are in an amazing company, Michael and the team. You guys are absolutely crushing it. So the deal is, um, I'm going to go over the 13 things that ruin every salesperson. So does everybody here sell? Do you guys sell something? Yes. Whether it's your wife, whether it's your kids to go to bed early or not eat the junk food, or maybe it's a big uh, nine-figure million-dollar transaction. It doesn't matter. We're all in sales, every single one of us. So um, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. Because these things that I'm going to tell you is going to be extremely important. And this has been programmed in my brain for a long time. And you've done this to me a long time ago. Whatever is written will be retained. So if, if there's ever anything that I hear and I like it, we, well, is it just going to be cool for me to like it? Or is it going to be better for me to memorize that and put it in my brain so that way I could use it in my arsenal of tools, Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like word tracks, objection handling. It doesn't matter. Anything that you hear, if you hear a quote or something, tattoo it on your brain. Tattoo it on your brain. Tattoo it on your heart so that way you can memorize it. And that way you can put it into action and put your own little twist on it. And, and where's everybody at? Are you guys all in uh, New York? Where are you guys stationed out of? We're all over. We're in New York, Florida, North Carolina, probably 20, 25 different states between everyone. I love it. Well, I'm sure a lot of you guys are getting a kick out of my old accent here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm originally from Alabama, but I'm here in uh, Arizona. I lived with Andy for a year, and now I've got my own place. Had it for about a year now. So, dude, let's jump right into it. This is the 13 things that ruin every salesperson. Number one, it's time to stop worrying about what everybody else thinks about you. That's the biggest thing that I see, whether you're a newbie and you're just coming into the company or you've been there and you're trying to hold the standard for the company. Stop worrying about what everybody else thinks about you, because you know what that does? It takes up space in your head and there's only so much real estate that we have in here. So if you're continuously worrying about what somebody else thinks about you, Jacqueline, you're never going to reach your true full potential. Because you're always just thinking and thinking and thinking, and your brain's not thinking towards the right thing. So the first one, it's time to stop worrying about what everyone thinks about you, number one, period. And then we're going to roll right into it. Number two, you need to detox yourself from wins, numbers, and comparison. 
it relates to lot to number one. So number two, you need to detox yourself from wins, numbers, and comparison. That's a big one, guys. That's a big one. I, I see a lot of people. They're always looking at the rev board. They're always looking at somebody doing better than them. And then guess what? They're tricking their brain into believing that they're not worth it. And I promise you, belief is the strongest thing you'll ever have. But doing these little things that I'm fixing to go over with you today, the 13 of them, we're going to cut that leash and we're going to elevate and go to our highest level. Number three, you don't have to prove anything to anyone except yourself. Mm. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Number three, you do not have to prove anything to anyone except yourself. Because guys, at the end of the day, the person that's looking back in you, looking back at you in the mirror, is going to be the only person that can tell if you're giving it your all. You know, and um, I heard this a long time ago from a man named Sean Pollard. I don't want to go to my grave without playing all my music. Mm. I want to play every single thing. I want to play to the whistle every single time. I want to touch the line. I don't want to half-ass nothing. Excuse my language. But that's the truth, man. I mean, in the, in the world right now, we're the world's full of amateurs. We're in the history right now of the worst leaders and the worst salespeople in the history of time. People don't care about people. People don't truly believe in what they're doing. And people are just wanting to make a paycheck and get by and pay their bills. But it's all good. You know, that's what society wants you to do. They want you to be average. They want you to depend on somebody. They want you to depend on the government. But the deal is, do you truly want that? Do you want to be, you know, 10, 15, 20 years from now and your kids and grandkids looking up to you and being like, man, Peter, he was the man. Peter went all the way and he always touched the line. But if you don't do anything spectacular, if you don't play all your music, we're never going to talk about you. What are you doing for your bloodline? Think about that, dude. People ain't telling you the truth anymore. But what I said when I started this call, I want to tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? I believe in what Michael's doing. I believe in what Mike's, but what's done. And I've, I've talked to him several times and I can tell he's got a good heart, you know? So that's more, that, what, that's really the main reason I wanted to get on here because he said he had a bunch of winners on here. And I could tell that most of you guys, you want to be winners because you're here. You know what I'm saying? You're participating. You're, you're, you're looking at me in the face. You're writing stuff down. I can tell you want to win. And I love that, dude. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you guys. So let's roll into number four. When you're having a cold streak, now this is important now. This is, if you sell, and, and, and this is extremely important, when you're having a cold streak, don't take it personal. It happens. Say you're killing it and you're smashing, smoking everybody. And then next thing you know, a couple months later, you're not killing it so much. You got a cold streak. It's okay. It's okay, Justin. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. If you're having a cold streak, don't let it bring you down. Because here's the deal. You want to write this down too. The person that can self-correct will forever be wealthy. Mm. The person that can self-correct will forever be wealthy. And the reason being is um, most of these, like I, I do, we do business with a lot of people that that's a business owner. And I look at it as like sales professionals and I was in sales. I looked at it as I was my own business inside of a big business. And I wanted to create my own little business inside of a big business to give me resources so that I could develop my business inside of the business. So the deal is, if you're going through a cold streak, if you've got some stuff that's happening, typically you reap what you sow in business. So if you're ever going through something, look back 60 to 90 days from where you're currently at and see if you was training to get better. See if you was giving it everything you've got. See if you was maximizing your potential day in and day out. And nine times out of 10, Every person in business person, a business owner that I sit down and talk to about this, they look back and they're looking at their calendar. I'm like, man, 
took off a couple of days. You know, I remember that's that Saturday, that Friday, I left work a little bit early. You reap what you sow. But the deal is the person that's self-correct will forever be wealthy. So get back on the horse, get to rolling. And the deal is like when you get knocked down, don't dust yourself off. People are always saying, oh, get back down, knock yourself, dust yourself off and get back up to it. Don't dust yourself off. Leave the dust there. So that way it reminds you what puts you down in the first place. Bet you I hadn't heard of that one. Because it's the truth. Nobody wants to tell it to anybody anymore. So let's roll right into number five. Number five, don't let going from small to big or big to small change who you are. There's a lot of people that we train with right now. We've been with them since they was dead broke. Didn't have a dime in their name. We believed in them. We showed them love. And we 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 teach them, we taught them skill that will be with them forever. And it, it's it's not as rare, it's it's not as common um with our training as most other people's. But the deal is like, don't let from becoming a person that's broke and has no money. And then when you start getting a skill and, and then the money comes because you got the skill because elevate you, let it elevate you into the person of being a good person. Don't be, don't be somebody that's a bad person to society because one or two things happen when, when somebody that gets a lot of money, number one, it, it enhances who they truly are and they become a good person or they become a bad person. Money enhances who people are. So if you're a good person with money, Justin, you're going to become a great person. When you're, when you're a good person with no money, you're going to become a great person with money. If you're a bad person without money and then you get money, you're more than likely going to be a bad person. But the deal is you got to ask yourself, am I doing my part in contributing to the culture of society in a positive way? Is this action going to positively affect the people around me or negatively affect the people around me? And I'm sure who wants to positively affect people around you? Everybody, oh, yeah. right? Everybody. I mean, that's what we're here for. We're here for communion. We're here to serve. We're here to teach people. And that's why we get to do what these beautiful things that we get to do every day. So don't let going from small to big or big to small change who you are. Number six. <laughs> Number six. Transition. Transition from your material world journey to your inner world journey. Transition from your material world journey to your inner world journey. A lot of people, when they get the dough, they wanna buy the nice watches, they wanna do all this, they wanna do this, they wanna spend the money. But what are you doing for you inside? What are you doing to develop a bigger heart? What are you doing to develop a better mindset? What are you doing to create the most elite version of yourself and, and truly creating the 10.0 Kelvin, truly creating the 10.0 Peter? Like, what are you doing? Are you, are you, are you getting other things and prioritizing other things other than yourself first? Just ask yourself, I'm just asking a question, but what do you think the best thing for you to do would be? Number one is to invest in you. Number one is to invest in your health because all these multi, multi millionaires that we speak to every day now, they say the same shit. Je Jesse, I've neglected my health over the last 20 years. I've got it all. I've got more money than I ever had, but my health is deteriorating. And I ask, and, and they, they all tell me the same thing. I would give all of my millions to have my health back every single time, every single time. We live by something here. It's called physical, mental business. We smash the gym every day, whether that's running for a marathon, whether that's smashing the weights, whether that's going to cardio, boxing, jujitsu, whatever it is, we're putting in the work every single day because we understand that our body is our temple. Our body is our temple, our temple, and we get in what we put out. If you had a Ferrari, would you put the cheap gasoline in it or would you get the premium good daddy stuff? You'd get the premium every single time. Why are you treating your body differently? Why are you treating your body the thing that we only get one of and putting it on the back burner and neglecting it? So that being said, what are you going to do to fix it? What are you going to do to optimize your performance? You're going to start eating healthier. 
You're going to start drinking a gallon of water a day. You're going to start exercising, exercising 30 minutes to an hour every single day. You're going to go for a walk, you know, totally up to you. Nobody can make you do anything except yourself, period. So number seven, number seven, learn to be okay with you. That's when big things start to happen. We're all different. We've all got different superpowers. We've all got different things going on in our life. Learn to be okay with you. That's when big things start to happen. So rolling off of that, this is who we are, guys. This is the cards we're dealt. I can't help that I'm not six foot five and 250 pounds jacked. I can't help it, dude. This is just who. This is who I am. This is the cards that I got dealt. And you know what? I'm going to give it everything I've got every single time. I want to see myself maxed out. I want to see myself at the highest level. I want to see myself that the good Lord put in me. I want to see exactly what I can be capable of doing when I play all my music. Every single day. That's what drives me other than helping other people is I want to see what I can do. I want to see what all is capable. I want to push the limits. I want to go past when people tell me, no, that's impossible. I want to do things that most people think is crazy, but you know what? Having a great life too is crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy too. Having a great life, having a marriage that, you know, you never have to worry about your spouse or your significant other cheating on you, showing your kids massive love, teaching them the right way, not just giving them money when you die, but actually giving them habits, generational habits. Because if you don't give them habits and you give them the money, the money's not going to be there. And they're probably going to be not good people in the end. You know what I'm saying? So let's roll right into number eight. Stop looking at the sales board and comparing yourself to others. You've got to protect your mind. Stop looking at the sales board and stop comparing yourself to others. You've got to protect your mind. And guys, if you've noticed, a lot of these things that we're talking about, they all go back to the mind. <laughs> it's crazy. Mindset is everything. It's not just something cliche that you hear all the time and you're wondering, oh, everybody says that mindset is everything. It's the truth. Ask anybody that's gone the places that you want to go. They're going to say their mindset was their biggest tool and their, or their biggest weakness every single time. So comparing yourself to others, looking at the sales board, saying, man, I'm just not worth it. That's cut it out. Cut that leash. That's never going to let you get to your true full potential if you keep self-sabotaging yourself by putting bullshit in your mind. It's just not going to work. Mindset is everything. Number nine. Number nine. It's time to wake up the animal inside of you and focus on what you want. It's time to wake up the animal inside of you and focus on what you want. I'm going to ask a question. Who all wrote goals down? At the beginning of 2023, who all wrote goals down? Nine, a hundred percent of people raised their hand on here. But the deal is goals. Here's goals. And then here's standards. What's your standard? What are you going to do every single day, day in and day out? Because that's your standards. Most people just being real, they don't hit their goals. I think I done it. the statistics is less than 25% of people actually hit their goals when they stayed at the beginning of the year. But you know what? Everybody hits their standard. So I challenge each and every one of you, Sage, welcome to the call. I challenge all of you to write down your standard. What are you going to do every day? What's going to be your standard? Because when our back's against the wall, we fall to our lowest level of skill. When you're in the middle of the deal and he's backing out right now and you, you just about, you're about to lose a $50,000 commission, what are you going to do? You're going to fall to your lowest level of skill. Are you battle tested? Are you ready to handle that objection? Are you ready to put him at ease and tell him why your service and your product is going to take him and his company to the next level and help him grow? Absolutely. Standards. Standards, standards. 
raise them and you'll get everything you want in this life every time. So I believe that was number nine. And then number 10, this one's, this one's good. Stick in your lane, in your space, stick in your lane, in your space. That's where you will grow a thousand percent. Stick in your lane, in your space. And that's where you will grow a thousand percent. So if you guys are buying multi-million dollar properties, your guys are buying car washes, if you got guys are, or guys are buying businesses, master it. Don't let anybody know your business better than you. Don't let them. Own it. Be a true professional. When somebody's speaking to you and they're like, man, that Peter guy, dude, he's on. He knows exactly what he's talking about. There's not anybody that knows his be business better than him. Peter is a professional. I'm going to do business with Peter for the rest of his life for the rest of my life, because I know how Peter made me feel. And Peter literally made it easy to say hard to easy to say yes to hard to say no to. And he made it the customer as I did every single time. That's why I want to use Peter because I know Peter's going to take care of me. Powerful, 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 powerful. Stick in your lane, in your space. That's where you'll grow a million percent. Let's roll to number 11. Understand what the compound effect means. Number 11, understand what the compound effects effect means in every single way. Understand what the compound effect means in every single way. What does it mean? Well, if you Google it, it tells you doing the same little things over and 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 over again. That's the compound effect. Waking up early, hitting the gym, studying your industry, knowing it like the back of your hand, knowing it better than your competition. That's the compound effect. And what happens when you look up and for 365 days you invested in yourself, whether that's physically or that's mentally, and that's knowing your business. Imagine where you will be at. All these people that you see, all these influencers, all these people that you're just like, oh my God, how'd he get there? Well, you know what? They had they focused on the compound effect day in and day out. They got to win this minute. They got to win this hour. They got to win this day. They got to win this week. And I promise you, once you do all those things, all those things, you win the month and you win the year. And then it repeats. And then it repeats. And then it repeats. And it never ends until we get put six feet in the ground. That's the beautiful thing about this. It never ends. <laughs> it never ends until we end, until we stop breathing. That's when it's over with. And are you going to look back and you're going to be, are you going to be proud of yourself because you played all your music or when you go to your grad and when you're laying on your deathbed and you're like, damn, man, I wish I'd have done this. I wish I just went a little bit harder. I wish I'd have showed my son, and my daughters, what all was possible. Now, hopefully they'll figure it out on your, their own. And hope doesn't get you anywhere. Hope doesn't do anything, but action does. And we all have this ability right now to take action in our lives and change everything. I don't care about who you was yesterday. I don't care if you was a POS. I don't care if you was a murderer. I don't care if you was a robber. I don't care. Only thing I care about and what he cares about is who you're becoming. What do you want to do? Who do you want to help? Who do you want to serve? It's right there, bro. It's right there in front of you. All you got to do is just grab it and go for it. One step at a time. One step at a time. Day in and day out. All right. Was that number 11 or 12? What, which one was that one? That was 11. That was 11. Okay, let's roll number 12. Number 12, don't ever, ever, ever listen to the haters and get stuck in their weak minds. Don't ever, ever, ever ever listen to the haters and get stuck in their weak minds. The hardest thing about this that I learned is, is most people that was, you know, hating on me, hating on people that was winning is the people that you've been with for a really long time in your life. Maybe there was in your, maybe there was, you know, went to grade school with you. Maybe there was your, your family members, you know, and that's the hardest thing to do is to 
look at those people and and tell them like I'm I'm sorry, but like I can't be around you anymore. I can't listen to your to your, your negative your negative words. I can't listen to your all the same old BS story that you've been telling yourself for the last 20 years. You got to cut them loose. You got to cut them loose. Because like we said, do we want to go to our max level potential? Do we want to reach the highest level version of ourselves? Well, sometimes our biggest haters are our family members and, and close friends. They just don't understand. It's okay. Society's programmed them to be that way. That's why they're going to be in the rat race their entire life. That's why they're never going to reach their true full potential. And the deal is if you keep them around, that's mediocrity just too close to you, bro. You got to cut the leash. You got to cut the cord. Can't have them around you. You can't let it. You can't let it do that to your mindset. You, it, you, it, it's your mind is too important to keep those people around. It's just like bad drugs. You got to detox from that crap. You know what I'm saying? You got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of it. But then we go back. The only person that could do this is you. How bad do you want it? I can tell the fire in Joseph eyes. He's been looking at me the entire time, taking notes, going crazy. I don't know how long you've been here, but I can tell you want it, bro. How long have kind of, you been here, Joe? I've been here. I've been working with Mike for about four or five years. There you go. He's probably Those one of the beast. top in the companies. He's probably one of the top in the companies. I can tell he's he's writing massive notes. Oh, yeah. I can tell he's freaking dialed in, and that's just a beautiful thing. Like everybody that's that's on that's that's that their face is showing. I can tell you all. You guys are all writing notes. You know what I'm saying? And and you guys are the true one percenters that truly want to win because you're participating. And you know, there's some people that may be driving and doing all that stuff, but like. The things that you want, thank you, Todd. The things that you want, you you will get them. You just gotta raise your standard and believe. All right, number thirteen. Number thirteen, and about ninety nine percent of you've probably heard this. Everybody has a plan until they get hit in the mouth. <laughs> That's so true. I used to fight. To, I used to box and do MMA back in the day. You set up this game plan. You know, you'd go in there ready to fight. You're gonna, you're gonna tire him out to the second round. Do all this stuff. You get rocked one good time, son. The plan goes out the window. And then guess what happens? We said it earlier. You fall to your lowest level of skill every single time. That's when you see if you're battle tested. That's when you see the work you've been putting in for the last five years. That's when you see if you're going to go, if you're going to get back up or you're going to lay there on the floor and just soak in it for a little bit and see where you took a lot, see where you lost. So that way you can go back and turn that into a win. Cause, cause all of your losses, all of your failures, they're all lessons. They're all lessons to teach you how to get better. It's totally cool to fail, but are you going to fail forward or are you going to fail backwards? I'm always failing forwards. I'm always learning how I could get better. I'm always learning what can I do to just get this much better every single day. Every single day. So those are the 13 things that ruin every salesperson. Um, I will, um, I've actually got a little PDF of that, that I could send you guys. I'll put my number in the chat. If you want it, just text me uh, your name and I will send that over to you. I'm going to put it in there right now. And um, for those of you want, that want more information, we have an event, um, a, a sales and, and marketing event coming up at the end of December. It's the only one. It's, it's the only event that we have for the rest of the year that's not fully booked out. If you guys want more information on that, text that number as well. I'll be glad to get it to you. It's going to be a lot about sales, closing, negotiating, mindset. And then we got a guy named, we have a guest speaker. Um, his name is Ryan Stuman. He owns Apex. He's a <laughs> branding and marketing guru it's just going to be a lot of a lot of value guys so if you want more information on that i can send you the flyer whatever you need but dude i just want you to know that i appreciate your time i truly do i, I appreciate it i get on zoom calls with a lot of people and I, I i love helping people especially the ones that want to win you know what i'm saying and i can tell i've got a bunch of winners on this call because number one you got a great leader I can't say anything bad about him. And I see a lot of bad leaders, I promise you. So don't take that for granted. He may be hard on you, but you know what? He just wants you to have a better life. That's it. You know, sometimes you got to positively peer pressure people into doing things 
that they need to do because until they do that, they're never going to understand their true full potential. So number one, I'm grateful for you guys. Um, if you want the PDF, text that number. It's my personal cell phone number. My name's Jesse Cloud. Um, you can find me on Instagram too, Jesse underscore Cloud9. Like the cloud in the sky, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, Jesse underscore Cloud9. I appreciate you guys, Michael. Thank you for having me.